Hello and welcome, I'm Zach Thaymore and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a level up scoreboard that shows you and your players how many hours they've spent in your world. These are the things you're going to need, a command block, an armor stand, a name tag and an anvil to rename your name tag. If you don't know how to give yourself a command block, it's very simple, just open chat and type forward slash give, at s for self, command, underscore block just like that simples and then you're going to need to decide the area where you're going to build this i'm going to build mine right here you also need to make sure that this is in a ticking area so it's constantly running and will not be interrupted by players not being in the area so the first thing we need to do is place one command block facing down like this it doesn't really matter which direction this first one is laying or facing but yeah just place one down and we're going to change this to a repeat unconditional always active and in the input we're going to type this forward slash scoreboard players add at e for entity square bracket name equals level with a capital l if you want to you don't have to put a capital letter up now i'm doing mine just like this and then you need to close that square bracket. And then you need to type level. Again, I'm using the capital letter. You don't have to. And then space one. And that's all you need for this command. The next thing you need to do is place a armor stand right here. Get your anvil and rename your name tag to level up. The exact same way that you named it in the command block. Very simple. Take that and name your armor stand. So once you place your armor stand and named him level up the same as we put in our command here, name level up, you need to put in a row, you can build these up, you can build these down, you build them left, you can build them right, it doesn't matter which direction as long as they are all connected and facing into each other. And we're going to need five of these, just like so. And in this first command block here, we're going to change this to a repeat always active unconditional again and in the input we're going to type forward slash scoreboard players test because we are going to be testing for the armor stand that we've just placed and named level up so then after test you need to type at e for entity and same again with the square brackets name equals and now type it exactly as you've typed it before with the capital letters if you've done that level up close square brackets and then we want to test the level scoreboard for 72,000 this is how many ticks there are in an hour so in the next command we're going to be changing this to a chain conditional always active and in the command input we're going to type this forward slash scoreboard just like before players add at a for all and that's all players that are on in your world or on your realm level exactly as you've typed it before and then we want one now, in the next command we're going to want to change this again to chain conditional always active and in the input we're going to type this forward slash scoreboard again players reset at e square bracket name equals level up exactly as you've typed it before close square brackets level again typed as you did before that should be that one nice and easy in the next one again chain conditional always active in the input we're going to type forward slash play sound random dot level up at all players and finally this is going to be the most complicated one of them all we want to change this to a chain conditional always active and in the command input you want to follow this very carefully 
And that's that. That That's it. Okay. Now what we need to do, we can go into our chat and type forward slash scoreboard objectives add level with a capital letter if you've used a capital letter. If not, exactly as you've typed it before. Dummy. And then you can title this with, say, for instance, level. Okay. And then press enter. And now what you also need to do is go back into the chat and type forward slash scoreboards again. Objectives. Set display list level. And then once you enter the start menu, as you can see there, next to my name on the right hand side, it says four. Now, if I quickly do this, you have leveled up. You are now level five. And if we check, as you can see on the right hand side, right here, it says I'm level five. Anywho, that is all for this particular command. In the future, I will be showing you guys how to use some more commands to make this just a little bit better. But nonetheless, you can now use this within your world. And if you use these commands in conjunction with my previous video, link in the description, you can get rid of the offline player when players join and leave. I really hope that this video has been helpful to you. And if you are stuck at any point, make sure that you do leave a comment and I will reply to you. If not, you can join the Discord and you will definitely get all the help there. Link in the description. And of course, make sure that you do share and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Until next time, bye.